Hello, Alessandro. Hello, Ape. How are you? Good. How have you been? We haven't met in a long time for doing this kind no. of recordings. Maybe one year? Probably in the winter, at the okay. end of the winter. A long time. Too long. long time, long time. <laughs> so we are back to talk about... Pen plotters. Pen uh, plotters. Or in particular, uh, SVGs, the word of SVGs, yeah. but with pl pen plotters in mind. Yeah. And I've heard that there is going to be video evidences of <laughs> plotters. We have built here uh, some, we can take a photo, mm -hmm. uh, some structure with wood to just hold the phone pointing down at the, at the exactly. axi draw. Exactly. So just to give a bit of more, uh, yeah, uh, to show a bit how plotters work. Yeah. And now it's uh, very easy to use them with uh, open render. Yeah. Okay. So as usual, we are using OpenRNDR, which mm -hmm. is this Kotlin-based framework. And, and one of the... Yeah, I, I do like generating shapes with it for for the pen plotter, which basically mm -hmm. is just creating curves. Mm -hmm. But it's it's also I mean it's also a tool that has its own how to say peculiarities mm -hmm. and particular pen plotters. Ah yeah yeah. So yeah. it's almost a medium in itself. Yeah. So this is sort of uh, the meeting of two different mediums, <laughs> that yeah. of pen and that of you know code. Yeah. In a certain sense. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So, um, uh, we, as usual, we're going to use the template, the OpenR and the R template. Uh, I'm going to be using the next version instead of this master uh, version. And the reason is uh, some things uh, have changed. Mm -hmm. um, let me see which things those are. Uh, in Some things were moved in ORX, which were composition. Uh, so this used to be part of the core and now is part of ORX. Yeah, I remember that ORX is this extra yeah. of open Yeah, render. it's like a collection of extensions or add-ons for mm -hmm. OpenRNDR. The reason I want to use the next version is to not be outdated as mm -hmm. soon as we publish this video because when the next version becomes the master version, then composition will be here and also SVG. Which used to be part and of most it. importantly, they will be commented to start with. So yeah. if you start your project from this uh, new template, mm -hmm. some of what we are showing will not work. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 So you can see here at the top, I'm using this branch next mm -hmm. version, and in here I have enabled composition and SVG. Yeah. And then I clicked the reload button of, yeah. of Gradle. So I think one thing that we can uh, we can show is is how it is easy to pass from uh, the um, you know drawing things on the screen mm -hmm. and transfer them to an SVG, yeah. which essentially minimal or almost no change mm -hmm. of code uh, itself. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. So maybe what a simple circle, for example. Yes. Um, well, I'm going to call it C. It's going to be a circle. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on the center of the screen, and this is going to be the radius. And I have to import. Uh, ah, well, I can close this right side yes, here. I just have it here to show that it's the next version. How did I do this? Ah, yeah, I did mm -hmm. git check, check out, out the next, next version. version. Yeah. So, okay. Mm -hmm. We have created a circle. Mm -hmm. um, you could just draw a circle as it is, mm -hmm. uh, drawer circle C. Yeah. So if we run this. And this essentially would draw the circle as uh, a set of, I mean, it's always drawn as a, as a set of, pi of uh, pixels. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the interesting thing is that SVGs, they are not really made of pixels, but mm -hmm. they are made of instructions on how to reproduce that curves, like Bezier segments and all this information, yeah. so that in case that you're listening, you don't know, SVG has this nice thing that this is vector graphics, mm -hmm. so you can scale and, you know, you can do all the things you want. Yeah. And in the world of, of uh, Open Render, you, you can easily do this if you uh, focus on using contours, yeah. or, mm -hmm. right? So maybe we can show how to draw a contour instead of the circle. So it's very, very easy, easy to convert this into a contour. 
Yes, we're using dot dot contour. Mm -hmm. Now this will no longer work, mm -hmm. but then we just switch this to contour mm -hmm. instead of circle, mm -hmm. and then the program still works. Um, to make it more similar to paper and pen, I'm gonna make the background white mm -hmm. uh, with clear white. Um, and maybe we can start by not filling the shape and just having a stroke, and then we can. Yeah. Uh, right. We don't distinguish here if it is filled or not because mm -hmm. it's white the default. Mm -hmm. But I could say that we don't want a fill color. Uh, now it's just going to be the default yes. black. All right. Yeah. So now just to make the things a bit more interesting, maybe we can make consent con concentric circles mm -hmm. very easily. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that, should we just show how to make the SVG? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we can make a variable called SVG uh -huh. and draw composition. Uh -huh. um, it's actually not as an SVG, it's a composition, but I like to call it SVG because mm -hmm. I'm familiar with that term. Mm -hmm. And then anything we draw here, um, yeah. so we could move these things and Then you here. need uh, C to be defined before. Uh, okay, we need to define C before. And and here we're gonna know <laughs> we encountered this an error a problem before when practicing yeah. before it's making this. It's called shadowing. Th that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Essentially. But um, let's let's get to the error yeah. step by step. So yeah. so we have now drawn into the composition uh, mm -hmm. uh, see a circle, yeah. and now we wanna display it on the screen. Mm -hmm. So there is a method called drawer composition, mm -hmm. and here we could just display the SVG. And we in we, theory. Oh, what did I do? I, but in practice, I we clip, will not see anything. I clip the bug. <laughs> uh, we don't see anything. And the reason is that we are calling here fill and contour on the drawer class. Mm -hmm. But the we can, let's say we take, one can image the drawer as a sketch pad. Okay, mm -hmm. it's the, the, the piece of paper that is active overall, but inside draw composition, you have to refer to the piece of paper in draw composition. Yeah. So that's why this is not receiving anything in a yeah. certain sense. Uh, also, in other words, um, drawer and composition both op offer the same API. Yeah. So they both have fill and yeah. contour and all the other yeah. drawing methods, but they do different things. Mm -hmm. So the one in drawer would draw pixels, mm -hmm. and this one would produce data, I think, yeah. like data like vector data. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we should use this approach. So we shouldn't use drawer inside here. Mm -hmm. And now it works again. Mm -hmm. But now, l like like this SVG, as you said, is a bunch of data. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is the thing that we can save as an SVG file. Yeah. How do we save it? So very easy. It has a um, save to file method, mm -hmm. and then we just need here a file. I could put it into temp, uh, nice SVG, mm -hmm. and then now when I run the program, well, it creates a circle. It creates the composition mm -hmm. with a circle, and then it just saves this to a file mm -hmm. which we could open anywhere uh, for example in the web browser mm -hmm. or into is inkscape, inkscape probably that it's yeah uh, let's try i'm gonna open here uh, in the web browser so you can see that it worked mm -hmm. or do i have inkscape open yeah here yeah uh, let's delete this and I, I can open the nice svg mm -hmm. And it shows like this. <laughs> exactly. And now this you can use for anything you would use SVG yeah. for. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you want to create uh, an uh, A2 version of this or mm -hmm. whatever. Printing on a bag, some services, you know, uh, allow yeah. SVGs because, of course, they don't suffer from this from pixels in a certain sense because it's a bunch of data. Right. And, and actually, if you click on it, in general, uh, um, Inkscape also shows you the path, uh, right? Uh, right? Sometimes, right? I just was showing that you can zoom in yeah. forever and yeah. it doesn't become pixelated. Um, yeah, you can double click 
uh, and, on, and then you can see that there exactly, are exactly exactly vertices exactly yes and then you could modify it if you want and form it and yeah yeah the thing is that you could combine and uh, we'll show later i mean in the in the next uh, episode how to combine generative techniques with um yeah printing techniques because a plotter is essentially a printing te technique mm -hmm. seems like i mean very easily in uh, in opera render yeah so see you then in the next episode when we will see some action going on bye